Thursday, February 15th, 2024, dream blog. <clears throat> so the dream was um, was some apartment complexes. It looked like off of like a, a highway desert area. And right next to it was like a little police cop station. It was weird. A restaurant. It was like an old Western movie or some shit. You know what I mean? Um, I mean like a old western movie texas or some shit anyways i was at this apartment complex i think it was like a light yellow and i lived there with i think my mom or some shit and and um And then <sighs> my phone was being hacked. And for some reason, my brother was there. My brother had lived with me. Me and my brother were living there. But like my mom was there too. But it was me and my brother. Like mainly were living at the house. My brother Isaac. And um... He was it was weird. He was wearing his Nike fleece, like the same one I got, but mine. I got you know got Nike fleece, and then I never wear them though. And and we're kind of looking the same, right? And then my mom was there, and then it's, for some reason I dropped my phone. I lose one of my phones, and it was my Android phone. Uh. Which someone stole in real life because it was in my backpack. And someone stole my Android phone when I moved here like in May. May, June, July or some shit. Someone stole it. Um, uh, it was a basic Android phone I bought um, from Amazon. So I have the I have the like, serial number somewhere shit. But anyways. Um, then... Uh, I ended up losing it, and then I dropped my other phone, my this phone right here, my my fourteen, down the the vent, and I see I the vent connected to the neighbors below me, and then um I seen my other phone in there, and I thought it was my Android, but it was my thirteen, and then um I go to the neighbors, but I ended up like walking around the corner and shit, even though it was a downstairs neighbors, and I ended up talking. I ended up going to the neighbors, and it was a downstairs neighbors on the other end of the apartment complex. It was weird, and then it was some Mexican food, and their family and their kids, and um, they were all fucking criminals out, like like just feeling sketchy, and I was like, can I get my phone? Da, da, da. You can't help me get my phone. And they didn't want to give me my phone. They handed me my thirteen, which didn't have service. I was like, I need my fourteen. And then, then he ended up, he didn't want to grab it. Then he gave it, then he ended up wanting to give it to me. And he hands it to me, finally. And then I turn it on, and, and they were looking at it. And it said there was something plugged into the bottom. So, a hacker device. It says, it, it on my screen, it popped up yellow and black. It said something was plugged into my phone. Uh, One of those software chips or whatever. I don't know what they're called. Those hacker chips, they were plugging it into the bottom of my phone. And it was saying something plugged in into my phone, something, something. And I believe they probably did that too in real life. Because someone ripped off the bottom of my fucking case when I when I was sleeping or when I wasn't, when I left my phone in my room. And someone was breaking in my house or it was my sister. But anyways, in my dream it said someone plugged in something, something into my phone. Either to add software or spyware or something like that, malware. Um, and then, um, and then I just, and they're like, oh, that's weird. Like acting stupid. Um, probably what's going to happen when I go to the reboot computers or, or somewhere, you know what I mean? But anyways, um, they're acting stupid. And then, um, I walk around the corner and there was like a computer hacker there. He was an old, old guy with long, with a uh, hair down to his shoulder and so, and he was an older dude, and the other guy was there too. There was another guy there, and I was like, "Can I trust you?" I was talking to him for a little bit. I didn't trust him at all, but I was like, "Can I trust you?" I wanted to take a step forward. Can you run diagnostics on my stuff? Can you do this, 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 and this? And um, he's like, "Yeah," 
as like the first step to trust or some shit like that. And then, because I don't trust nobody with my devices, right? And then uh, he's like, yeah. So he was going to establish trust and run diagnostics for me. And then the other guy was like, cool. And then, and some reason I had a watch with some, some fucking high tech stuff on it. It was weird. And he was looking through the watch and saying, and, da, da, da. and then it had Apple, it had iPod, iPhone headphones, Apple, um, iPhone headphones, whatever, um, on a watch thing. It was weird. And then, um, and I walk around the corner and I keep walking towards, and then there was like a big patch of area on this side. I lived on the side and there's people stalking me. They were pulling in the parking lot, right? There are people pulling in the parking lot and I'm just looking at them like standing there like, what the fuck is going on? Feeling like, like just they're all watching. But if they were really watching, but they were trying to make me look crazy probably. And they were really pulling in the parking lot watching me. And then, um, and then I catch one of them had my ex-girlfriend in it. And I walk over, I'm like, what the fuck? And I look over and my home ex-girlfriend, Danielle. But anyways, um, it looked like she was sleeping with somebody. And I walk over and she's like, hey. And there was a whole bunch of people. Car, The car was full. And then, um. And then, um, I'm walking around, and then someone's trying to set me up. I can't remember. Something about, I remember dirt right there or something. Someone, oh, there was a swimming pool somewhere or some shit. Um, someone's, I don't know, a swimming pool came out of nowhere. People were swimming or some shit. And then there was some, like, teenage kids, like, following me around. Some dudes, some boys. And they were, like, following me around, talking to me and shit. And then... And then, um, and then someone pulls in the parking lot and says, hey, the police station's right there. And they're telling me to go snitch on them, basically. Go fucking put in a police report. Get shit handled. Um, legit. And there was a little fucking, like, a little, um, little, uh, trailer thing right there. A little, like, a little trailer thing right there. Like, a, it looked with a window on it. And it looked like a, like, one of those coffee trailers. And you walk up, and there was it was a restaurant with fucking pot cops in it, and there were some females in it, and I'm like da 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 da, and then they gave us some food, they gave us a big old hot dog, and then I felt anxiety, like the cops were giving us poisonous food and shit, and and the lady, there was women in there, there was women that were working, I don't know, they, they were supposed to be cops, but they weren't cops when I pulled up, they were like a restaurant, they gave us a big hot dog and a plate of like potatoes and something else. And it, I didn't want to, I ate some of it and it didn't taste bad. So, but I was feeling like anxiety, like, like they were, they didn't have the best interest in me. And then, um, and then I walked back to my, and then the other, there was another dude sitting next to me and he was eating everything and I just kind of let him eat it. <laughs> and then, uh, cause it was good. It's just, I had anxiety that they were putting bad stuff, which was two females, which eating in the switch room could be able to build a covenant which I rebuke right now. Any covenants through my dreams, I rebuke <laughs> Christ's name and name the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. There we go. Ooh, there we go. Any connections there? Uh, my spirit team just said, good job. <laughs> I think it was Archangel Michael said, good job. <laughs> anyways. um, Anyways, they fed me food. I ate a little bit of this big old hot dog. It was like a fucking eight inch hot dog. And then uh, with like chili on top and shit. And I ate a piece and I just felt anxiety. So I pushed it away. And then the other dude ate all these food in front of me. And I was like, and they were just looking at me. And then they were acting funny. Then I went back to the stairs by my house. It was a stairway. And then um, like I think I woke up. Or no. And then... um. No, and then uh, there was cars passing by on the street, and I went to the street, and I seen somebody. I seen uh, the homie Abraham fucking Hernandez, and then uh, I think he was passing by saying, doing something against me, and then um, and then he was in a car, and then I kind of just walk away uh, after he passed by in the car. I walk into the complex because I couldn't catch up to him, obviously. I was walking, and then I go back, and then we're talking. It's like... And then I remember talking about Katie. Katie was like, oh, yeah, Katie's with Abraham or some shit weird. Some weird shit like that. And um, and then um, we were looking for Katie like she was missing. And then um, or she ran away or she was missing. 
And I was like, well, I heard she was with Abraham or whatever over there. Da -da 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 -da. And then, um, and then, uh, and then we we're talking in the apartment complex and it's like, oh yeah, da -da -da. then all of a sudden my dream trips out and changes. There's people stalking me. And then all of a sudden this big old rocket ship comes like this big old high tech rocket ship. Shh. Like it was a big old plane with big jet jet fuels and engines, turbines, big turbines, and it was flying over the apartment complex. And then it pulls up and just like parks like a rocket ship, like up up with like with the point up. And then some guy comes out and some guy, some white dude comes out and like is talking to us. And basically, I don't know, it was weird. And then he was like watching over us, like <laughs> like space dude or some shit. I don't know, it was trippy. But anyways, yeah.